Hi, I'm Scott Frink, uh, audiologist at Salem Audiology Clinic, and we're here today to do another patient profile. Today's guest is Ron Jackson, who's been with us for many years, and he's going to tell us about his life experience with hearing, coping with hearing loss and hearing aids. So, Ron, first question is, when you first, when, when was it you first started noticing hearing loss? Well, first of all, thanks for having me here today, Scott. Um, it's... Um Back in my younger days when we were shooting weapons, uh, we uh, didn't use hearing protection. It wasn't really advised or, or promoted. And my friends and I were out shooting and, and there was uh, one afternoon where I knew one of the gunshots had damaged my ears at that time. And I was, um, I was still in school at the time, high school at the time. So I had a, uh, a damaged ear early on and then um, as I got older, I went to a lot of uh, concerts, and we all know uh, the damage that concerts can do to ears, and I was doing those most every weekend, so a lot of damage there. I, just, I knew it as a young person, you think you're invincible. Later on, um, I started noticing that I was asking people to repeat themselves a lot, and um, it got a little bit embarrassing at times when I felt that I really should hear them or they felt that I should be able to hear them. And um, so that, that's when I, I guess would be a, very early on I knew I had damaged the ears. And, um, um, but I didn't really think of doing anything about it until later in life. So what specifically prompted you to take action to deal with your hearing loss? Um, I uh, started my current job several years ago, and one of my coworkers um, was wearing hearing aids. And my curiosity was piqued. And so I talked to him about that. I said, I see you're wearing hearing aids. I hardly knew it. You know, you would have never known you were wearing them. And do they help a lot? And he goes, oh, my goodness, yes, they do. And he, he gave me a list of examples of where he was before he got them and where he was with them. And uh, so I asked him more about it and how insurance covered it and different things like that. And that prompted me to be even more interested in following up with that and seeing if I could help myself by getting a pair of hearing aids. And then um, once you first got your first set of hearing aids, what was it, uh, what was your experience like? It was an aha moment. It really was. I, I, I wished I had done it sooner um, because the, the range of hearing, you don't realize how your highs and lows, for instance, shrink down to this, this common middle ground. It, it, it happens so slowly that you really don't notice it. And when I put those on and I could hear the crispness of water and different things like that, and, and so some of the low tones that I, or mid tones that I wasn't hearing before, I, I just thought I'd been given my ears back. And it, it was a, an aha moment for sure. So um, what uh, kind of advice would you offer someone who is thinking that they might have hearing loss and um, experiencing some difficulty as to where they should start or what should they do? Well, um, oftentimes I, I think people still have the stigma that um, they are your, their grandfathers or their father's hearing aids and they're going to um, be you know, bulky and obvious and th there's a vanity issue that's always going to be there with, with men and women. And, and you got to toss that out the window, for one, you know, because of how they're made these days. They're small, um, very well hidden, different colors, those kind of things. And um, I would suggest to them to, to give it a try because from my experience, if, um, if it didn't work out for them, 
and they could always say, hey, I tried it, you know, return them and, and call it a day. But I would strongly encourage anybody, um, in fact, my neighbor right now, I'm, I'm working with him, and I get, I get a, an eye roll from him right now, but his wife is prompting me because she knows he needs them. And so he's, he's a prime candidate to uh, answer your question at some point in time if I can only convince him over that hump to see what it is their, their, their holdback is. Mm -hmm. And I, to answer your question in a short form, why aren't you pursuing getting your hearing checked and getting your uh, a hearing aid if you need them? So spinning off a little bit of what you said earlier about, um, uh, about how much different they are from your father's hearing aids, because I often will have patients come in saying, well, I don't want one of those big ones like my grandfather wore. Well, if they're coming to see me and they're in their 60s and they're talking about their grandfather's hearing aids, that had to be quite a while ago. And miniaturization has gone a long ways towards improving things. And so it, things are better. They're much smaller. They're less conspicuous. But here, here's kind of a question for you that I didn't talk to you about here. It's kind of like impromptu that uh, spinning off of what you said. Um, wouldn't you say that initially you consider the cosmetics of it, but long term you're more concerned about how well it works than how it looks? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's going to cross your mind at first. And, um, and then when you notice people aren't, aren't saying a word about the fact you're wearing them, you know, you, you're thinking that everybody's going to go, you're wearing hearing aids. And they, they don't. They understand as we get older that, that things change, whatever dynamic affected my hearing, that's none of, none of their business, and they don't make it their business. Um, and so um, once you then try them and do the things you love, myself, I play and listen to a lot of music, the world that it opened back up, once I wore those, the, the first set of hearing aids, I thought, again, why did I wait this long? That, that it was the absolute right thing to do. And you, you did this thing where you said, you're, um, you're wearing hearing aids. Isn't it now more of a question than a statement? People are going, you're wearing hearing aids? And so while the technology is better and the performance is better, and that's what you ultimately care about, the nice small size cosmetically is, a, is an added plus. Right. Yeah. The, the, the colors they come in, the, the, the compactness of them, and some of them are, even if you go with the in-the-ear ones like Grandma and Grandpa used to have, mm -hmm. There are these little buds that, that stick down in your, in your eardrum, mm -hmm. so you don't see them. But even the ones I'm wearing now, um, I've had people say, I didn't know you were wearing those. Mm -hmm. And I don't think about it anymore. You know, I'm going, oh, because you know, I'll talk about having hearing aids. And then you hear somebody make that comment that they didn't realize I was wearing them. I'm thinking, that's even better yet. That's a plus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for all this information and the advice that you're giving to the people watching this. We're actually going to do another video with you that's more related to the product you're wearing right now. It's going to be a product review. And so, so we'll go into that shortly here. Great. Thanks, Scott. And thank you.